watching Beyond the Cradle. My name is Sitalaya Oyi, so I'm going to be your host on this episode once again. And now we're diving into the fascinating world of diaper changing. Let's put theory into practice. Let's show you exactly how to change a diaper. There's so much you need to know about changing a diaper. It can be a bit overwhelming, but we'll take it slow, shall we? All right, so. Uh, we have our friends Emmanuel and Emanuela here helping us out and uh, yeah it's gonna be interesting because these two dolls represent uh, true size babies now Emmanuel represents what would be considered a newborn baby now a newborn can fit between the elbow of your of your arm and your wrist this is actually the average size of a newborn when it's born, when it comes out, when mommy just delivers. Uh, and it's interesting because uh, parents can sometimes be overwhelmed by how tiny babies actually are. You look at their tiny fingers, tiny toes, and changing a diaper for something so tiny, or rather someone so tiny, can be a bit overwhelming. Now, Emanuela here is a little larger. Now, she represents what a three month old could uh, be like. Now the average African baby might be a bit bigger than this if you know what I mean, mommies, daddies, you know what I mean. But we're gonna have Emanuela um, be our doll for today's demonstration. All right, so you want to change your baby's diaper. You've just discovered that baby might be showing signs of being uncomfortable and it's time to get that dirty diaper off. First thing you need to do is figure out where you're going to change baby's diaper. If you're at home uh, or in your nursery, you need to find a table or a surface that is okay for you to change baby's diaper. Now, you might realize that you're changing at least five to 10 diapers a day, which means you're gonna be spending a lot of time at this table. So make sure that any table you're using is at your waist level and your arms do not strain or stress to reach the table. So for instance, my arms right here are able to rest on top of the table without me bending over, without any stress or reaching too far. Very important to make sure it's a comfortable surface. Now, a table like this is specially made for diaper changing and also giving baby a bath. This is what they call a changing mat. It has been specially created to make sure that if baby decides to roll, baby cannot roll over on the left or on the right. The only open areas are at the top and the bottom of the table. Now, at this point, I have to stress that anytime baby is on the changing mat, you do not ever leave baby unattended. That is one of the no-nos of diaper changing. In order to make sure you don't need to leave baby unattended for any reason whatsoever, make sure you have everything you need ready and on standby. To change a baby's diaper, what do we need? First thing you need is some hand sanitizer. Believe it or not, this is the most important thing you need. You're gonna be coming in contact with baby, baby's skin in very sensitive areas and in our everyday lives, our hands get very dirty. The first thing you need to do is sanitize your hands. Now, if you don't have hand sanitizer, of course, soap and water work just as well. Just make sure your hands are clean. The next thing you need, of course, is a brand new diaper. Now, there are many different types of diapers in the market, and in subsequent videos, we will be giving you a lot of insight into which diapers might be best for you. You also need good old trusty baby wipes. So, there are different types of baby wipes in the market. Many of them have different types of textures. Some are lighter, some are thinner, some are thicker. Some have decorations on them, some have strong, harsh perfumes, some have antiseptic. Really, really, you need to take care to find a baby wipe that works for you because you're gonna be using it on your hands very frequently something that's not too harsh for you. Something with a perfume might be helpful because what comes out of baby's diaper might have an extremely strong smell and this can be helpful, especially if you're out and about. 
Now, one thing you have to note is if your baby does show any signs of irritation, it could be due to the perfume or liquid found in some brands of wipes. Keep changing your brands until you find the one that works for you. The next thing you need is some baby powder or talcum powder. So talcum powder is good old trusty talcum powder. It's very light, lightly perfumed and makes baby feel very fresh down there. And now this is what we call old school. This is what our parents probably used for us and we're very used to seeing it um, and it's easy to find in any supermarket. Now one thing that my mom, my grandmother and probably her mother swear by is diaper cream. Now a lot of people have different uh, types of diaper cream they like to use. I'm a big fan of zinc and castor oil version of the cream. Now this is a thick barrier cream which is pasty to touch, lightly perfumed and it forms a barrier between baby's skin and the diaper and baby's skin and any urine or anything else that could be found in the diaper when you're changing it. So have all these things ready and waiting for baby before you bring baby out to change. All right, now we have everything we need ready. It's time to bring baby to the changing table. Please take note once again how dangerous it is to leave baby unattended for any reason for any amount of time. Baby changing mats have been made softly padded so that baby can't hurt themselves should they tip over by mistake. It's always advisable to make sure you have one hand on baby at almost all instances if you can. Make sure that you use clothing that gives you easy access for diaper changing. Now there's some really beautiful clothing outfits out there for babies, but they're not very practical for changing diapers. So if you are someone who wants to get a diaper change very quickly, try and find loose fitting clothing that has press buttons or um, Velcro. So it's a lot easier for you to gain access to the baby's diaper. So Emanuela here is very calm but the, an average baby is not going to be as calm as this when you're changing them. This baby is going to be rolling all over the place, cooing, guying, and shifting up and down. Take note, once again, keep one hand on baby at all times. Now, Emanuela needs her diaper changed. First thing you do is expose the legs of the baby, meanwhile keeping one hand on baby at all times. Use your other free hand to release the first Velcro, Release the second Velcro, and then. Sorry, I'm gonna come to that again. Okay. Okay, let me even describe. Okay. All right. Yeah. Good. Leaving one hand on the baby at all times, you expose the diaper area. Now, most modern diapers come with sticky tape or Velcro tape these days, which makes it very simple to remove. You remove the first fastener then the second fastener, and then take a peek. Now for male children, uh, for parents that know, opening up a diaper introduces a lot of fresh air down there, if you know what I mean. And that often is the cue for a baby to pee right in your face. Yeah, you parents know what I'm talking about. But Emanuela is not like that, so we don't have that much of a risk. But then again, accidents do happen. So it has been said that Whenever you are wiping a baby, you wipe from front to back and not from back to front. The same way you remove a diaper, you slide it back from the front to the back of the baby. Never scoop from the back to the front. Even though it seems easier to scoop from the back to the front, it's always more advisable to go from the front to the back. This makes sure that no remnants of feces or poop, as it's said, go into the front area of the baby. So as you scooped it up, you use the same hand that was holding baby before to lift baby with one hand up and then gently remove the dirty diaper. Now at this point, baby is exposed but baby also still needs to be secured. For those that can practice this as much as possible, with this same one hand, just roll up the diaper like that. 
and like so and hopefully you have uh, a bin handy or a bag handy there could be a bag hanging here for instance or a bin right by your side by your right hand toss it in the bin now at this point baby is still soiled this is where you introduce your wipes grab the first wipe wipe from top to bottom from top to bottom like this first wipe done second wipe wipe from top to bottom from top to bottom once again second wipe done now for those of us who are more frugal this might be at the point where you're like okay how many wipes have i just used yeah for hygiene purposes you might need more than two or three wipes for every diaper change the hand being used to secure Emanuela now is going to lift her one more time and then continue to wipe from front to back, from front to back, from front to back. Hopefully by now your baby is all clean. But you need to take a look and be sure nothing has, you know, escaped onto other areas of the baby. Once again, I will stress that at no point in time should you leave baby unattended on a changing table. Emanuela is being very calm right now, you're not really hearing her voice, but a real baby would be squirming and wiggling around by now. At this point, to make it as quick as possible, grab your diaper cream. Now diaper cream can be a little bit expensive in the market these days, so it is advisable to take the measurement that is put on the packet. Usually they say a pea size is enough, all you need is to put it on your finger and proceed to wipe it onto baby's skin in all the areas where the diaper will be touching. It's very important to create a barrier between baby's skin and the next urine or the next poop that they make. Once you put your barrier cream on, then you grab your powder. Taking care to not use too much, just add some powder down there just to make baby feel a little fresh. At this point, we bring in the next diaper. Now, there are some who swear by making sure that the diaper is under the baby first before you do all the powdering and creaming of the baby, but I've always just been one to do it this way. So, once again, making sure baby is secure in hand, open your diaper up, Open your diaper up, spread the diaper out, making sure that the Velcro is behind baby. So at this point, look for the tapes, make sure they're open, lift baby with one hand and slide the diaper under. Making sure that the Velcro parts are at baby's waist. Okay, baby's waist like this. Most diaper companies these days have indicators as to where you should stick the diaper or rather tape the diaper down, but some don't. I've always been a fan of folding the top of the diaper to make it a bit more comfortable and airy on baby's belly. And then you tape it like so and like so. All right. At this point, Emanuela's diaper has been changed. <laughs> and she's smiling again. <laughs> and it's as simple as that. In, let's say, two to three minutes, you've changed baby's diaper. Make sure you check baby's diaper on an average every other hour, especially if you have a baby between the ages of zero to six months every other hour just to check for any accidents just to check to see if baby is comfortable and uh, yeah stock up on those diapers people <laughs> hopefully you've been able to learn a thing or two on this practical demonstration hopefully you've learned something new on beyond the cradle today thanks so much for joining us make sure you subscribe to this channel on youtube hit that notification bell so you do not miss a thing my name once again is titelaya oinson and remember that the hand that rocks the cradle rules the world.